Dang, 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 dang. We went on a roll there for a while, didn't we? So I'm pretty pumped this morning. So today is the fifth day of fishing, day one of the pre-fish for the double header back to Gippsland Lakes at Meetung. This morning we've got a real treat. Today we are going to discover what Gippy Lakes is looking like with the local family duo, father-son team, the Prikes. They fish out of Nitro Sanford 100, which is a uh, nice compact bass boat that does everything that they need for them. Up the front, typically at a tournament, you will see Steve as the boater and his father, Lindsay, as the non-boater. This guy's been locals on the circuit for a good five years now, and it's not uncommon to see these guys travel as a family across both the kayak and the boating scenes. So the plan for the day is? Uh, this stage we're going to sort of bounce around, hit a few spots where we normally fish, sort of check out what's going on. Be a little bit different this year with Gippy being so flooded. So we'll do all of our usual spots, then we might go on a bit of sort of an adventure, check out a few deep water spots, places we normally wouldn't fish. And see the fish are sort of flushed out, maybe into the middle of the lake random points and stuff like that and go from there. So, Gippsland's obviously a, a staple. Tell me a little bit about, about why we come here every year at the start of the year. ABT comes to Gippsland Lakes every year because the quality of fishing is so good and that's with nets having been in the system. Now the nets are out and they came out last year, this fishery is going to go from strength to strength. Where else on the mainland can you consistently catch five kilo bags? That said, there were over a thousand fish entered into the app at Mallacoota. Uh, Gippsland Lakes, it's going to be a little bit tougher. We assume that maybe only a fraction of that are entered here, but they're going to be quality fish. And I think the app data from year on year is going to really, I suppose, follow the recovery and the improvement of this fishery. Nets out, we're going to do our thing to make sure that this fishery recovers really well. We want this to be Australia's premier mainland tournament fishery. What weights do you think will win it? Typically at Gippsland Lakes, if you're not catching five kilos a day, you're not going to be up at the top end of the field. Now, we've had a lot of fresh water in the system. I'm looking in the water now, it's a little bit stained. A lot of the mussels and shellfish have died off. Some people say this is going to be tough, but what I've learned from 20 years plus of doing ABT is there are going to be guys out there that are going to use the situation to their advantage. They're going to bring in five kilo a day plus bags and they're going to take home some great prize money. Alrighty anglers, let's kick off the 2022 Island. I literally started my comp again at about 11.45. I caught up to that same deep spot. That was chaos. That was proper chaos. Bro. I'm shaking. I am shaking. Booyah! It felt like they were just looking for shade, you know, especially at the bridge and the pylons and stuff. We're going to turn and burn as soon as this is done, dude. Yeah. Are you ready for me? Once you get his head up, just go. Tell me about this area, is it like a passage for fish or something? Uh, so off that corner running out to that channel mark, it's not a rock. It's a rock. Alright. Uh, a reef. So it's similar to the Mitchell Reef. But this one doesn't get as fished as heavily. And does it, um... Does it need wind on it like the Mitchell Reef does? It's best with wind. Yeah. Um, I just want to give it a crack with the dirty water that you think that might give them confidence. So. What do you think that is on the on the surface though? It's a bait. Just bait moving around? Yeah, it'd be something like that. There's been a lot of tailor up this end of the lake chasing bait, so... Is that sun is cranking already? So, how long have you been in Prod this for? Uh, I've been with Prod Weeds probably nearly five years now. Uh, sort of started, what, I think I was 20 when I signed up with them, so it's been a while ago now. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet the rep when I used to work on a table shop in Lakes and come in there and he basically had the conversation with me about signing up with Frobleys and that he wanted someone that was in the boats and kayak scene, that was active and yeah. And a couple of days later I was yeah, signed up with Frobleys and haven't looked back really. And um, they've been great to be with, highly supportive, kept me up with all the new product range and 
new rods and all that sort of stuff. I like how you and your dad have got Luvies from the 80s. That's a Kelvin. Still from the 80s. No, DA Luvies. They're still a very good reel though. I got, th I got a thousand one at home. The morning so far has been sort of slow. We found a few fish, sort of deeper. And um, we'll go and see if there's sort of that pattern will continue along this deeper edge and go from there. Oh wow, look at that. He's got the bigger ones. No, have got their leg. Lindsay, you're proud that, that Steve, like with Steve's results? Yeah, I reckon he does really well. Some days you wonder how the hell he does it, but yeah, he does it. <laughs> Especially when you're on the stand on the back of the boat, not catching the thing. Is that, does that happen often? Yeah, it does. Does it, does it happen in reverse? Not very often. <laughs> when, did, uh, when did the fishing as a family start? I used to take him out when he was about four. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That past time we've had, as a family together, it was sort of... Forever, really. Yeah, it's been forever, really. It's been... Name, his parents, my parents, they've all sort of fished. Uh, is, and is it brim fishing in particular? No, just all sorts of fishing they used to do. Um, but we just sort of went more along the brim side of things. Well, we've got the two Hobie kayaks, a 19, 19 foot trophy, bowline trophy, and the nitro. All at the front yard? On the front yard. Yeah. That's <laughs> right, 25 foot I left this morning. Oh, uh, last night. Ah, uh, did it? Yeah. Did a you little. sell it, did you? Uh, we think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. A little bit more space in the driveway. <laughs> yeah. We did have three three boats, six cars. But we sort of downsized a bit since then. And how many live in the house? There's three of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about like what you've had to do to it until like to get um, to where it is here. Yeah, so it's a 06 Nitro 700 LX. Uh, when we picked it up. So it never really been used as a fishing bait, it was more for the actual owner to get around from the islands to go get his groceries. Um, so she needed a bit of work, but yeah, recarpeted it, new seats in it, didn't have any electronics at that stage, so full set of Laurent sounders straight through it, put the talent on it, deck graphics, mix factor. She had a bit of work put into it now and it sort of looks like a completely different boat, but it's turned out nice. It really does look like a, an affordable uh, bass boat. It's been, it's been faultless, like it's had I think it's up to 700 and something hours on that engine now. Wow. And it's been, like it's had its little bits and pieces over time, but that's just parts worn out. But other than that, it's been perfect. Okay. Gives me plenty of power. It's not the quickest boat around, but it does pretty good for a 17 footer. When we moved here, brim fishing was something completely new to us in a sense. We've never really done much of it, so. What did you call that? Um, just flatty fishing, whiting, stuff like that, squid. Okay. The whole typical Port Phillip Bay thing. Still bread and butter species though. Yep. Yeah. I know you've been into the shark fishing recently. Yeah, so something extra to try and do, especially with COVID, we haven't had the comps, so I sort of ventured into a few different things and started doing a little bit of land-based shark fishing and 
Uh, it's good to be back on the water doing comps, seeing everyone again. There's a lot of guys you haven't seen for ages because of the lack of comps and with all the travel restrictions you don't see people. So that's been good to be back. We have used every minute available. Check-in started 15 minutes ago. Uh, it's a 15 minute. I got 15 minutes to get there. That gives me about 10 minutes spare. So uh, I have used all the time on the water available to me. I started out this morning obviously with Prikey down at Jones's, Nico. Fish the Mitchell, Painesville kind of Bay Area, and uh, an Eagle Point. Got out of the water, fished Lakes Entrance, the front of Lakes Entrance where the uh, trawlers are. Got some sick prawns, that was awesome. And now I just finished on North Arm. I've been everywhere today and uh, I'm tired. North Arm didn't fish too badly. I'm actually really considering going there. It's got a I went in there and then a couple of casts later I had two fish and it is going to be tough. Um, I don't like the idea of North Arm though, confining myself to such a small area when uh, Gippy has such a vast array of options to fish so it feels a little bit like I might be constricting my options and I don't, really don't want to do that. I want to have everything in play, although the weather is causing a bit of an issue. We'll have to have a look at tomorrow's weather and see how that plays because that uh, that might actually might actually be quite tough. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. What's up to? How are you? Uh, tough day today. I think, um, I don't think many people got fish. Yeah, the weather turned this afternoon, didn't it? Uh, I think it's about to do the next couple of days as well, so I'm a little bit worried about it. Yeah. Worst comes to worst, can't you just go to Holland Landing and get big from there? Well, apparently, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to fly, fish that place. Just finished rigging up way too many rods. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, most, said, most that I spoke to said they'd caught like one or two. Um, like everyone agrees that it's strangely, like strangely tough. Yeah. Yet. Let's go for a hard one, see if they want that. It is going to be a wet day today. Thanks for putting my stuff away. You're welcome, bro. You sit on boaters like you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we went there. It'd be good if you had an atomic hat on, exactly the same as your dad's right now. I've got now. a Hobie one in there. <laughs> it could be like a Tweedledee and a Tweedledum thing going on. It's what I, it's what, it's what I love to do, ass surgery. That's why I joined the military. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just pick your nose again, please? Don't worry, I got it on camera, I'll be able to zoom in. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah.